Hello, hello, hello everyone. I am back. Um, my recording ran out, so there's a part one of A Promise and Cooperation moving forward. And I'm going to continue now with A Promise and Cooperation part two. And I'm going to pick it up at where I said God is doing new and exciting things in the earth. And he's doing new and exciting things in the lives of his people. He wants for you and for me to experience nothing less than the fullness of what he has planned and purpose for our lives. But we must be in sync with him. We must be in sync with God. It is by his ability and by his grace wherein we are empowered to do all the things that he has purpose for us to do. So my brother and my sister, let us open our hearts today to everything that God has for us in this brand new year, this brand new season, this new decade. We want God's direction for 2020. So I pray that our hearts will prayerfully seek him, seek his guidance, seek his truth, that we will not go about in 2020 wandering aimlessly, but that we will have specific instructions given to us by the Father through the leading and the direction of his written word as well as Rhema word, as well as the Holy Spirit. Let us be open to the Lord's speaking. Be open to his directives. For Jeremiah 29 chapter, the 11th verse says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. My brother, my sister, let us resolve in this brand new year to live a new life, a better life, a Psalm 1 life in this year, 2020. Let us walk in revelation of God's word. Let us start the year off by considering our company and choose good company. Let us give ear to the word and to the entire counsel of God as he speaks to us in our private time, our prayer time, as he speaks to his manservant and his maidservant with a direct word concerning your situation and your circumstances. Through dreams and through visions, God speaks to us. Let us be not just hearers of the word, but let us also be doers of God's word. Let us apply the word of God to our lives. It is then that we will find ourselves as those trees planted by the rivers of water, springing up, having deep, strong roots, a solid foundation. We will find ourselves bringing forth fruit, just as God promised. We'll bring forth fruit and more fruit and much fruit in the ordained seasons of our lives in which certain things are to be produced. We bring forth the fruits of our lips. We bring forth the fruits of our labors. We bring forth the fruits from our spirit being. We bring forth the fruits of our natural being. Being fruitful and being prosperous according to the promises of God. May the divine peace of God, his protection and provision 
rest with you and your house throughout this brand new year and in the years to come. It is my prayer for you as well as prayer for me that we depart not from this life having fulfilled our destiny, having lived out our full potential, having glorified God in such a glorious state, allowing him to use us as vessels here in the earth as he did Abraham to be a blessing to nations, to people that they will come to know of God's love, his grace, and his mercy. Salvation to all. For they that call upon the name of the Lord 